Hey, Aaron, what are you doing? Reflecting. Hi, this is Aaron Swanlick, and my job is to teach people how to look good, talk good, sound smart, live pretty. We are 100% still working on that introduction. Speaking of introductions, this is topic selections in under three minutes. Challenge accepted. Let's go. Speaking of introductions, this is topic selections in under three minutes. Challenge accepted. Let's go. Step one is to be introspective, which, if you're like me, is the most terrifying step because you actually have to look at yourself in the mirror. What I want you to do is write down and reflect on what interests you because listening to speeches, prompts, topics at hand, you can tell when a person actually cares about the subject matter they're talking. Now I have a pre-step one. If you're thinking to yourself right now, I have zero interest, Aaron, what do I do? Newsflash, you do. 100% or you're lying to yourself or if you don't actually do or watch anything, I have a new life advice step one. Start doing stuff. <laughs> find some interests, find some hobbies, find something to do. Step two is going to be limit the scope and parameters of the search topic in and of itself at hand. In most cases, you're probably going to be asked for a topic or for a class or some event or a meeting that you're going to that has implicit guidelines and pretty much assumed norms that everyone is going to do and follow in those locations or events. For a persuasive speech, it could be a speech about political change or even social change. For an informative paper, it could be something along the lines of an historical event. So now we got our two main important things, come step three. Step three is simple, combine the first two steps. In all topic areas, there are a plethora of ways uh, in which you can analyze and address the topic area that you're talking about at hand. For instance, if you're a nerd like me and like Star Wars, and you're tasked to give a speech on public defense spending, maybe a good speech topic you could have is experimental weapon technologies vis-a-vis -vis the Death Star, but you can look at real-life examples such as RAND and DARPA uh, that would be your search terms to best find out that the real world is actually stranger than fiction. I will leave you with a Mark Twain quote. There is no such thing as a new idea. It is simply impossible. We simply take a lot of old ideas and put them into a sort of mental kaleidoscope. We give them a turn and make them new and curious combinations. We keep on turning and making new combinations indefinitely, but they are the same old pieces of colored glass that we have been using through all the ages. Remember, don't make a molehill into a mountain. Find out what you like and find out the thing you like about the thing you like. I know a lot of reflection and in introspection, it's terrible but find out how to make that aspect of it appear uh, in the topic area that you have at hand or whatever the thing it is you were supposed to be selecting.